So if we use Hess's law, summation of reactions, and combine it with uh, formation reactions, we get a new equation here. So formation reactions forming the compound from the elements in the standard states. So the formation reaction will have one product, the compound that we're forming, with the coefficient of one in front of it. So it makes it easy to add up to make a reaction. So the formation reaction has the compound as a product, so it has it in the same direction as products in the reaction that we're looking for. So we're going to be adding those together. The reaction is in the forward direction. But to get the uh, coefficient correct, we're going to be multiplying our enthalpy formation by the coefficient from the reaction that we want. The reactants, though, to get them from formation reactions, we have to reverse the formation reaction. That means we're subtracting it to reverse the reaction. We're still multiplying by the coefficients from the equation that we're creating. So the enthalpy of reaction from heats of formation would be our summation of enthalpy of products times their coefficients minus the enthalpy of formation of reactants times their coefficients. So to do an example here, we have a, a, a reaction for rocket fuel. We want to calculate the delta H. We are given our enthalpies of formation. We don't memorize these except for elements in the standard state. So to produce an element in the standard state from the element in the standard state, you do nothing. So our enthalpy of, react, of formation is always going to be zero for an element in the standard state. The standard state is room temperature and one temperature pressure. So what we would normally find it as. So all the enthalpies of formation are supplied. So we're going to add up the products times their coefficients, subtract off the reactants. So the notation I use, just so I make sure I don't miss anything, is I'm adding for products, subtracting for reactants. I'm multiplying by the coefficients. Uh, so one, one, three, six. So I'm multiplying by the coefficients. Then I keep in parenthesis the enthalpy information as it is with its sign, whether it's a negative or a positive sign. <clears throat> so I put in our uh, 1 times negative 16.76, our 1 times a negative 704.2, our 3 times a 90.2, plus 6 times a negative 241.8. That's all the products. Now I start subtracting the reactants. So we got our minus 3 times the 0, minus 3 times the negative 295. So everything's been set up right. We run it through calculators. We end up with a negative 2675.4 kilojoules. So it's a very exothermic reaction. It produces a lot of work, a lot of gas, hot gas, that can expand and be thrust through the nozzle, carrying some dust with it. And uh, that creates the thrust to push the rocket up into space.